Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about the image tracing that how do you draw a image for an object and what's the relation between focal length and the radius of curvature of a given spherical mirror. To do that, let us consider a concave spherical mirror. We can take anything, but we are taking a concave spherical mirror just for the sake of simplicity. So this is a concave spherical, spherical mirror that is under consideration. Yeah. And let us consider this as a pole of that mirror. And this is the say center of the curvature. The line passing to the pole as well as the center of curvature is called as principal axis. There is here somewhere, let us assume a principal focus is there. Let us keep object somewhere. This is an object. First of all, we need to see its image. How do you see the image? Let us try to find out. For that, there is a rules. There are rules called something like image tracing. Among them, the first rule is if the light ray from the object is striking the curved surface parallel to the principal axis, it gets reflected and passes through the principal focus. That's rule number one. If an incident light ray is parallel to the principal focus, the reflected light ray passes through the principal focus itself. If the incident light ray is parallel to the principal axis, the reflected light ray passes to the principal focus itself. One more rule. The light ray that is passing to the center of curvature after striking the curved surface will retrace its path. So it comes back in the same way. So you might have noticed that this reflected light ray as well as this reflected light ray are meeting at this particular point. So here already an image is formed. This is how the image is formed, something like IG. So this is what the first thing that we need to know regarding image tracing. Once if you know the image tracing, so image tracing is basing on two rules. Rule number one, light ray parallel to principal axis after reflection passes through principal focus. First rule. Second rule, light ray passing through center of curvature after reflection retraces its path, comes back. These are the two basic rules for image tracing. So we have first of all talking about the image tracing. These two reflected light rays are meeting at a particular place where the image of the object is formed. Having completing that part, I would like to draw a fresh diagram and again find out the relation between the radius of curvature and the principal focus. Anyway, one point further I would like to add is for this parallel incident light ray, if I draw a normal, that normal passes through center of curvature. This becomes angle of incidence. This becomes angle of reflection. But we know angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection itself. Taking these basic things into consideration, let us redraw the diagram once again so that we can again find out a relation between this uh, R and F. Let me try to draw it again. 
a concave mirror like i have drawn a concave mirror in the earlier case now also i am drawing a concave mirror this is a concave mirror the outer side is coated with a silver or a paint the inner side is exposed to the light obviously this is the pole of the mirror this is somewhere the center of curvature a light a line passing to center of curvature as well as the pole is called as principal axis somewhere in between you are going to have a focal length f i will just redraw the same diagram just for the sake of observation so that you can draw it easily i am drawing it once again let us consider an object here i want to know where is the image is so i will use the rules of ray tracing the first rule is light ray passing through parallel to the principal axis this is called paraxial light ray after reflection passes through the principal focus so this is after reflection passes through principal focus this is the reflected light ray so if i draw a normal to this point if i name this point as p if i name this point as q the normal is going to pass to the point itself so if it is an angle of incidence theta the angle of reflection is also equal to theta so this is the first point but anyway i want you to observe one thing here what is that is this is a kind of a z shape see the green the angle above the z shape shall be the angle below the z shape basic geometry so i would like to tell you that angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection that means angle jpc this angle equal to the angle cpf this angle and because of the z shape angle jpc is also equal to this angle angle pcf all of them are equal to theta itself i also want you to observe one more thing this is not only one z shape i will draw with a different color pink color there is one more z shape here i'm drawing again you can notice notice carefully there is one more z here yes this is the another z again above the angle z that it angle is theta plus theta so this angle becomes automatically 2 theta so i would like to say angle j p f this entire angle this angle and this angle together 2 theta equal to angle p f q this angle both of them are equal to 2 theta of course i can draw now the one more uh, light ray passing from object passing through center of curvature one more incident light ray will retrace its path so this is reflected light ray one this is reflected light ray two they were met at this point here image is formed like i have explained in the previous diagram further there is two right angle triangles if i draw a perpendicular line from p to q they will be very that line will be very close to q because the lens is a thin lens i can say in the right angle triangle f q p f q p 
this right angle triangle i can write tan 2 theta as pq by f q that's nothing but pq by f q is nothing but the principal focus the distance between the pole and principal focus is called focal length itself there is not only a triangle FQP right angle triangle there is one more right angle triangle if you observe carefully in that right angle triangle CPQ this is the right angle triangle I can write tan theta is PQ by CQ CQ is nothing but the radius of curvature of a given mirror. Now, I will divide this equa two equations. 1 by 2 gives tan 2 theta by tan theta is R by 2. Sorry, R by F tan 2 theta is pq by f tan theta is pq by r so that's nothing but equal to r by f i would like to further say as theta is small tan theta is going to be close to that of theta so the above equation will become automatically 2 theta by theta equal to r by f theta and theta can be cancelled it implies 2 equal to r by f r f equal to r by 2 r r equal to 2f that's the relation between radius of curvature and the focal length of a either a convex mirror or a concave mirror both of them are equal to the same radius of curvature is always double the focal length or focal length is always half the radius of curvature of a convex mirror or a concave mirror thank you for watching Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.